Duke, was a show-off. He rode roughly and often came off the rails. I warned him to be careful, but he took no notice. Listen, Dookie, who worries about a few spills? We do here, I said, but Smudger just laughed. <laughs> Until one day, Manager said he was going to make him useful at last. Smudger stopped laughing then. Why? What did he do? He turned him into a generator. He's still there behind our shed. He'll never move again. After that, Stuart and Falcon became really useful engines, and all three were happy together for many years. Then, hard times came. The mines in the hills closed. And the railway was closed too. People came to buy the engines. We'll take Stuart and Falcon. No one wanted Duke. They thought him too old. Cheer up, Grandpuff called Stuart. We'll find you a nice railway and then you can come and keep us in order. They tried to be brave and cheerful, but no one really thought their dreams would come true. Duke's driver and fireman oiled and greased him one last time. They sheeted him snugly and said goodbye. They had to go away and find work. Duke was alone. Oh well, he sighed, I'll go to sleep. It'll help pass the time. Winter torrents wash soils from the hills. Trees and bushes grew all around. You wouldn't have known a shed was there, let alone a little engine asleep inside. That's not a happy ending, exclaimed Percy. Ah, murmured Thomas sleepily. There will be, but that'll have to wait until next time. It was a beautiful moonlit night on the island of Sodor. The day's work was done and all the engines puffed safely home. Thomas, whispered Percy,